Hey, what's going on everybody? Full Furniture today bringing y'all a Clash mini video and in today's video we're going to be going over this Countess deck. I've been theory crafting a bunch of decks and this Countess deck seems to work insanely well. So we're going to be talking about it in today's video. If you've had success with other decks, let me know down in the comments section below. Currently trying to test kind of every deck in the meta and see which heroes have the best combinations for the meta. I've heard Shield Maiden is pretty good, but uh, we're going to be hopping in with the Countess for this video. So our gizmos are going to be War Toot, Training Camp, and Elixir Collector. Elixir Collector, although we are going up against a War Wave Master, so War Toot might not be bad for us. Um, we'll see, we'll see. But I think we're going to be starting off with the Mega Knight Ice Wiz combo. The key targets in this deck are going to be upgrading the... Um, upgrading the... Mega Knight, there we go, and Healing Ranger. Those are going to be the key targets uh, with this specific deck. We do have the Countess TPing over. Oh, it's not going to get caught by the Giant Skeleton Bomb. So we are going to be able to take that Dark Goblin down. And we should be able to clean up his Wave Master pretty nicely here. We do get the stun off. He's not going to be able to get the heals off because of the anti-heal with the Countess. And we have plenty more health. And that is going to be a round one victory for us. Let's see, heading into round two. If he's going to be launching the giant skeleton over, then we could probably play a little bit higher with the Bang Knight. Um, let's grab this upgrade here. And so we go third. Let's go for the... Uh, I want to hit the Dark Goblin, so I want to make sure we're hitting that second one. And let's go for the Elixir Collector in the back. I think grabbing the Elixir Collector here is going to be super helpful for us. So we can just kind of start stacking uh units he's gonna go for the training camp okay so he throws in the swordsman as well and we have the extra uh extra stun at range and be able to take that down the countess should be tp'ing over to the dark goblin dark goblin's gonna get taken down we still have plenty of health left on that mega knight do get the backstab with the Countess, and the Countess should be able to take this down, and this is going to be an easy round two victory for us. He did get the stun, but we were able to get the heal off, and we were able to take full advantage of our Elixir Collector, and we're up 2-0, so I think this is going to be a pretty easy victory for us. Let's go with the Unstoppable, let's go with the wider area of effect, and let's just go Mega Knight level 3 to wrap this up so we have the unstoppable we have the wider area of effect this means we're probably going to be able to take down uh ooh, actually he might throw his swordsman oh i don't know he might throw something right to the pump which means our healing rangers at risk but if he wants to take advantage of the training camp he's probably going to keep it over there he actually sells the dark element okay so that was a smart play that was a very, very smart play. So now our healing ranger is going to get taken down before we can even get anything off. And our countess is going to be able to TP over and take the swordsman down. He's going to be able to get a pretty decent stun right there. And we're going to TP over. His swordsman's going to be able to rack up a ton of damage. Mega Knight should be able to get a jump down. There it is. That was a huge stun. And this countess will be able to clean up the wave master. And that's going to be a GG well played. So a quick clean 3-0 for us in this first round. Getting that nice plus 3 from the win streak. And now we're going up against a monk. Ooh, this is like only the second time I've seen a monk. Um, I feel like Ice Wiz with the Mega Knight is probably our best combo here. And then I think the he's probably going to put the uh, the monk here. Yeah, so... He, oh, he immediately goes for the Elixir Collector. Alright, the monk is going to get the super off onto the Ice Wizard, which is huge for us because now... Ooh, nice. Alright, so he did have the pump first, so he is going to be able to generate a little bit of extra Elixir. Um, but I think what we want to do is... We're going to go with the extra slow. Let's grab our pump to the back side. And we're going to spice things up a little bit. We're going to move the Mega Knight over to try to not get hit from his monk initially with the silence. And then 
Hopefully the Mega Knight will be taking enough damage to build up a super. We can get the super down. He's going to go with the Royal Ghost. Oh no. Although our Mega Knight it, or our Countess is going to be able to take down that. Uh... Oh yeah, there it is. He's going to be able to take our pump down, but it doesn't really matter because he is going to get the Mega Knight super off anyway. Monk and Royal Ghost. That is an interesting combo. Okay. Let's grab the Swordsman on the backside. Let's go the extra stun duration on the Mega Knight. I feel like that's going to be the most helpful for us. I don't know if we want to grab... Healing Ranger. You can go Battle Healer all the way on the backside. Which, anti heal coming through. Mega Knight stun is going to be coming down. We also have the slow. Countess is going to TP back here. Monk does get the super off. Oh man, Royal Ghost with the Monk. And minor is such a good combo. All right, let's I think we need to try to grab dissipate here. That's probably going to be our safest bet dissipate onto the minor. Hopefully we target his monk. All right, we start with the battle healer first. We're going to TP over. Oh, the Countess is on the backside. Now we have the dissipate onto the monk. That's going to be huge. His real ghost is going to be able to get um, a decent amount of damage. Oh, we grabbed the stun. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Our pump stays alive. We did have the miner going with the dissipate, but it got stopped by the monk, which actually ended up working in our favor. Um, all right. Let's, let's go healing ranger just in case here. But I, th is he, I feel like having the extra body will be helpful. And I don't know if he's now going to switch things because I've been so aggressive on this side for the past three rounds that I think I want to put Mega Knight here. I don't think he'll put Magic Archer in the middle. And I don't think he'll shift the Mega Knights in the middle. Yes, we read that like a freaking book. Let's go. Okay. Mega Knight gets the slam down. Everything onto the backside. That's huge. Mega Knight, come on. The dissipate onto the miner. There it is. GG. Well played. What a comeback. Monk, Royal Ghost could have some potential. But I think the fact that we had the Elixir Collector in this matchup probably saved us granted he had it too but anyways this deck is a lot of fun to play it's really solid the control you get with it the healing ranger paired with the countess is also really really strong right now and then you have the extra control with the ice whiz and the swordsman if you need it and then of course dissipate with the miner for the backside or just backstab and cleave but that's going to do it for this video hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe for more content and don't forget to turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos and i'll talk to y'all in the next one have a great day everybody we'll see you later peace out